Um, I hope you're all doing really well. I just thought it is raining outside. It's a miserable day and I have been sewing while trying to learn to sew. And I thought I would try and make a mask and a matching scrunchie. Because the other day I bought a set, this set here, from Vinted. And this is what the top looked like before. And um, I made it into a little top with some... I tried to make puffy sleeves. So yeah, so I thought I wanted to do a little video of me trying to make things. So I got the good old scrap bag out and found some little bits. I thought this material would be really nice. I got this little pink one. And I also thought this one would be amazing. Um, Yasmin's Thrifty Life had a dress and she was selling it. So I thought, oh, I'll have that, which is this. And I just thought that will be such a good match. Very tropical, even though the weather's not tropical, I could be tropical. But, oh, I don't know, that one could be quite nice as well. Hmm. And if it goes well, then I'm gonna make one out of this. If it doesn't go well, I'm gonna wait till I go and see my friend who's got a sewing machine and we can have a proper go at these, because I'm gonna be hand sewing everything today. I'm gonna put the instructions I followed in links down below, because I don't think mine are gonna be very clear. Um, it's just gonna be, to show you that you can use any little scrap materials that you've got. Let's try and um, make a mask. <laughs> First step is get into a comfy outfit because you realise the outfit you wear was ridiculous. But if you don't make yourself feel nice in lockdown, who the hell will? So I also had to run back and get some pins. Next is the measuring. And like I say, this is just hopefully somebody will see this and they might make one themselves and maybe not follow my instructions or um, they may buy one from a smaller brand or a small business that's making them and they maybe not use a disposable one that will just end up in the seas or in landfill. Um, I'm going to put my hair up too. So yes, that's the point of this video because I know already my dyslexic brain is not going to be able to show you guys how to do this <laughs> but we move okay so to start with we need to get the material and our tape measure 17 and then 23 and then let's go so now we have a piece of material that is 17 by 23. You can have a backing fabric, just being a plain one, because obviously this is going to be the one that's on your face, and the pattern this way. Um, but I just had some of this, and I just thought it would be easier for me to cut them the same size and have it just the same both ways. But if you've got like some scrap material that you don't need, that you need to use up, that maybe you don't like the pattern, I suggest using that one where it's going to go on your mouth and it won't be seen. So this is the first step. So for the next bit, I've pinned the elastic on and I'm just gonna pin the, I've already got the pins out, pin the elastic to this side as well. So as you can see, the pattern is on this side. Um, and what I'm gonna do is sew every side apart from this side. First hiccup. <laughs> this is what you don't want. <laughs> That's because I was too busy talking. I turned the camera back on for two seconds. Now, how am I gonna? Because I only pinned the elastic, I can just unpin it. This one's sewn in now. So, one side all sewn in and secure. this is the last side and we're leaving this bit open I would just like to say how well my pins worked because the elastic is completely gone there it is still with the pin attached but sorry that you can't see me um yeah the pin is still attached but it's not in there right so I'm gonna the podcast is getting juicy it's the mild mild pod, 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 podcast as usual so yeah let's go to the next bit back again okay so I've turned it inside out now all the bits that I did messy are all hidden away, all neat. Just 
So at the minute it looks like this, so that side's all done and all neat because it was folded over. We've got this bit with, as you can see, some little frays on the edges. So all I'm doing is, is you can fold it inside if you want to, but I am going to fold it on the outside and just stitch along there. So then it'll be this way on the face and you can't see it. And I am stitching the elastic on there. And that's good because where I've pinned the elastic like that, it's holding down this so I can just sew along there, sew along the elastic and it's all done so I'm going to get sewing. So this, I'm going to be a bit muffled. <laughs> so here is the mask all done and yeah now is the exciting with the leftover bits. Time to make the matching scrunchie. Okay I would also like to say I'm really sorry about my hands. They're my hands they're very cracked and they're very the tan's very bad uh, but the cracking is always from like doing working outs doing working outs doing workouts or being on me old bike right so for this one we need 10 centimeters wide and then we need 55 centimeters long I was thinking you should probably maybe get a pencil to do this instead of the pins or you can use the pins but it's up to you and 55 cent. What? What? No, the material's not long enough. It's only 40. I'm going to try it at 40. I recommend you do it at 55, but I don't want to waste this material and I want it to match. I'm guessing the scrunchie will just be shorter, smaller. along here and then to pin it all the way across I've sewn all the way across there and I've taken the pins out and now it is to turn it inside out and to get this all the way through oh. The elastic for it, I'm just going to put as if it was a hair bubble on my wrist. So I'm just going to do it like that big. Now the easy way to do this is to get a safety pin and to thread it through this and then just put it through here. But I've not got a safety pin with me so I'm going to go off camera and try my absolute best to try and get it through and come back. So after a long time I've managed to get the elastic through, it's a mental like that it's just it's a scrunchie now straight away. <laughs> they are done! Oh my goodness I'm so excited that they are finally done, the scrunchie is so cute! Let's try it out! So there's the scrunchie and the scrunchie works great, obviously it's a normal scrunchie. And the mask, and it just feels so cute together. The only problem is, is it's now covered in makeup because this is me. Uh, I wish I was comfortable about makeup, on, but I'm not. So let me know if you make any. If you do, tag me. Um, I'll put my Instagram here, and then I would love to see them. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't throw it. I just made you. <laughs>